what's going on guys welcome back to another video so here in today's video i'm going to show you a few different apps that i really enjoy using with the samsung s22 ultra so we've got a couple apps that just make using the phone a little bit easier um, also some customization apps um, a few apps where you can go to get some really cool backgrounds um, some of you have commented on other videos asking me where i get my backgrounds from so i'm going to show you here in this video so let's go ahead and jump right into it, starting off with the first app, uh, which is called Pentastic. So what this app allows you to do is customize the look of the air command menu. So the air command menu is that small little icon that pops up whenever you remove the S Pen from the bottom of the phone. Um, so by default, uh, the air command menu looks like this right here. Uh, but as you can see, the Pentastic app gives you a few different options. I think my favorite is probably the circle option. Uh, so that one right there. And then also this retro option um, like that there. So let's go ahead and choose the circle option. Go ahead and set that. And then once we go to the home screen on our phone and then click on the air command icon, you can see that it pops up in that circle format. So that's a nice little customization option that you have for the air command menu. Um, and then if you go back into the app, you can also customize the look of the cursor. Um, so by default, you have the little circle, but you can change it to um, an arrow, change it to a heart, change it to one of these different little animals, um, or you can choose your own custom curs cursor and choose a picture from your phone. So if you wanted a picture of yourself or uh, a picture of whatever is in your gallery, um, you can choose to do that. So that's pretty cool as well. I'm just gonna leave mine on the default. Um, and then you can also change the sound uh, that is made whenever you do certain uh, functions with the S Pen. So that's pretty much the gist of this app. Um, I think the biggest thing is just having the option to customize exactly how the Air Command menu looks. So that is the Pentastic app. So next up we have the One Hand Operation app. So what this app does is it makes it a lot easier to use the phone with just one hand. So as you know, the S22 Ultra has that super large 6.8 inch screen, uh, which is one of the biggest screens out there. So using the phone with just one hand isn't always that easy. Um, so with this, it allows you to assign different functions um, by swiping on the screen. So as you can see, if we jump in here, um, you can see doing a short swipe to the right uh, would provide you with a back function. Um, so if you're on an app and you wanna go back to the previous thing that you were looking at, you can just simply swipe right with one hand. Um, doing a diagonal up would open up your quick panel. Um, diagonal down would open up your task switcher. Um, and then those are for short swipes. You also have options for long swipes, um, which you can turn on or off if you would like. So doing a long swipe to the right would open up your quick tools. Um, a long swipe diagonal and up would open up your notification panel. A long swipe diagonal and down would open up your recent apps. And you can customize each one of these. So um, if we click on that there, you can see you have all these different options that you can assign to each function. Um, so it just gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to using the phone with just one hand. So let's go ahead and pull up um, just a Google Chrome browser and then we'll show you exactly how it works. So if I swipe like so, you can see it takes me back to the screen that I was just on. If we do up and to the right um, you can see it opens up our notification panel um, if we do let's see go back to that google chrome if we do down and diagonal opens up the task switcher and those are for the short swipes so let's go ahead and do the long swipes so if we do a long swipe over into the right you can see it opens up those quick tools if we do a long swipe up diagonally you can see it just opens up our notification panel if we do a long swipe diagonally, you can see it opens up your recently used apps. So again, if you're using the phone with just one hand, um, having those different swipe functions 
can allow you to navigate the phone a lot faster and a lot easier. So that is the one hand operation app. So next up, let's go ahead and go into the Adobe Feel and Sign app. So this is super helpful um, if you're like a business professional and you sign a lot of documents on the go um, or just even if you're not a business professional and you need to sign a lot of documents no matter where you are. Um, I know for me personally, um, recently when we went through the process of buying our home, our real estate agent kept sending us, you know, contracts and documents that we needed to sign um, in a timely fashion and having something like this would have been super helpful. Um, so just to show you guys, let me go ahead and pull up a file. So here is just an example of uh, a PDF file. And what you can do is go ahead and enter your signature here. So let's turn this like so. So I'll go ahead and do my signature like so. And then whenever you have a document that you need to sign, um, it will have your signature stored in there. And then all you have to do is just scroll to the area that you need to sign and you can hit that signature icon at the top. Go ahead and select your signature and you can place it wherever you need to place it on the document as well as resize it to make sure that, you know, everything fits properly. Um, so let me just get that in the proper space. And then you can just go up here and share it. Um, so if you need to email it, just hit your email icon and you're good to go. So the Adobe Fill and Sign app, super helpful if you need to sign a lot of documents on the go. Next up, we have the Expert Raw app. So if you're into editing a lot of photos, um, this is going to unlock the full potential of these amazing cameras within the phone uh, because it allows you to take 16 bit raw photos, which you can then later edit um, to get some amazing results. So if you're an avid photographer um, and you, you know, want to unlock the full potential of your S22 Ultra, I definitely recommend checking out this app. And it's very similar to the pro feature of the camera. So it allows you to control the ISO. Um, you can also control the shutter speed. Um, you've got some options as far as the focus, uh, whether you want it to be automatic or manual. Um, you can also adjust the white balance. Um, so you have pretty much total control over your cameras. And then again, having that 16 bit raw functionality is going to be great when it comes down to editing. So speaking of editing, another app that I really enjoy is Lightroom. So um, as you guys know, this is a really popular photo editing app. Um, it really gives you full control over um, your photos, gives you some very granular details that you can really dive into. Um, just to show you guys some examples, recently I took my daughter to the zoo and we took a bunch of pictures that I've been in here just kind of playing around with, doing some different edits. Um, this is probably one of my favorite ones right here. Took a picture of this tiger and you can see if I hold it, that is the original photo. And then if we remove it, that's after the edits. Um, so the beautiful thing about Lightroom is that it does have presets. So if you don't want to adjust everything manually, um, you can go through different presets and see what looks good just for like a one click edit type of thing. But if you do like adjusting your photos manually, I mean, you get full control within Lightroom. So um, you can adjust the exposure the level of contrast, your highlights, your whites, your shadows, the blacks. Um, you can, you know, pinpoint individual colors and really bring up the saturation. Pretty much whatever you want to do to a photo, you can do it within Lightroom. Now, Lightroom is a paid subscription. So, you know, you really need to edit quite a few photos for it to make sense for you. But you can get some really good results out of using Lightroom. Next up, we have the HDQ Walls app. So this is one of the apps that I use to get some of my backgrounds. Um, just go in there and look around. A lot of times I just pull up this app and just browse through and I'll find one that stands out to me and I'll go ahead and slap it on the background of my phone. And just to keep things fresh, you know, I do switch up my backgrounds pretty frequently. Um, so this is definitely one of the apps that helps me do that. And then another app is going to be the Backdrops app. This one also has a bunch of different really cool um, backgrounds that you can choose from. A lot of abstract backgrounds, um, a lot of different creators that have added quite a number of different things that you can go ahead and slap onto your background that are going to keep 
your phone looking very interesting. So those are two that I use, HDQ walls and backdrops, um, two excellent apps to get some really cool looking backgrounds for your phone. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you found some value in this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up as well as consider subscribing to the channel. Definitely more content on the way. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.